Is dark matter a reality, or are we simply misunderstanding the fundamental laws of the universe? This question has been a topic of heated debate in the scientific community for decades. Dark matter, an elusive substance that neither emits nor absorbs light, is thought to make up about 85% of the matter in the universe. It was first postulated due to peculiarities in the rotation of galaxies. You see, galaxies were spinning so fast that they should have torn themselves apart, according to the laws of physics as we understand them, but they didn't. Something unseen was holding them together. This unseen something is what we refer to as dark matter. Despite numerous attempts, however, this mysterious entity has managed to evade direct detection, leaving its existence in a state of enigmatic uncertainty. Yet, not every physicist subscribes to the dark matter hypothesis. Enter Eric Verlinder and his radical theory. You may not know Eric Verlinder, but in the world of theoretical physics, he's a significant figure. A Dutch theoretical physicist, Verlinde has been a trailblazer in the field, particularly in the realm of string theory. His work has been instrumental in pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and its underlying principles. Verlinde's reputation in the physics community is one of respect and admiration. His peers recognize him for his innovative thinking and his ability to challenge established notions, helping to drive the field forward. He's not one to shy away from big ideas or to back down from a challenge. His contributions to string theory, a framework that proposes all particles are one-dimensional strings rather than zero-dimensional points, have been significant. He has been a key player in the development and evolution of this theory, contributing to its increasing acceptance and recognition within the scientific community. But Verlinde hasn't stopped there. In 2016, Verlinde proposed a theory that challenges our understanding of gravity and the existence of dark matter. Verlinde's theory is complex, but at its heart, it suggests that gravity is not a fundamental force. Now that's a bold statement, isn't it? But hold on, let's unpack this a bit. Verlinde proposed that gravity is an emergent phenomenon. It's a bit like wetness. Wetness doesn't exist at the level of individual water molecules. It's an emergent property that comes into play when a lot of water molecules come together. Similarly, according to Verlinde, gravity emerges when particles in the universe interact. This is where the quantum world comes into the picture. You see, in the realm of quantum mechanics, particles can be entangled. When two particles are entangled, the state of one particle affects the other, no matter how far apart they are. Verlinde suggests that this quantum entanglement could be the basis of gravity. The entanglement of particles across the universe creates a network of quantum interactions from which gravity emerges. Now let's talk about information entropy. In the context of Verlinde's theory, it's not about disorder or randomness as we usually understand it. Instead, Verlinde uses the concept of entropy to describe the amount of information involved in defining the quantum state of an object. The more complex the object, the more information is needed to describe it, and hence, the higher its entropy. According to Verlinde, gravity is a result of changes in this information entropy. When an object moves, the information about its quantum state changes, leading to a change in entropy. And it's this change, this difference in entropy, from one place to another, that gives rise to what we perceive as gravity. But what does this have to do with dark matter? Let's delve deeper. According to Verlinde, dark matter is not a mysterious substance, but a manifestation of dark energy. Let's delve a little deeper into this. Verlinde suggests that the phenomena we attribute to dark matter are, in fact, the result of dark energy. Now, dark energy is that elusive force driving the accelerated expansion of our universe, but how does it relate to gravity and the behavior of cosmic structures? This is where Verlinde introduces the concept of elastic response. Imagine the universe as a vast cosmic web with galaxies and clusters interconnected by threads of dark energy. When matter distorts this web, it produces an elastic response. This response is a gravitational effect, similar to how a rubber band snaps back when stretched. According to Verlinde, it is this elastic response, not dark matter, that explains the peculiar behavior of galaxies and the gravitational lensing effects we observe in the cosmos. 
In essence, Verlinde's theory paints a picture where gravity is not a fundamental force, but an emergent phenomenon. It emerges from the quantum interactions of dark energy, much like temperature emerges from the kinetic energy of individual particles. This perspective eliminates the need for dark matter entirely. Of course, this idea is not without its critics. Many physicists argue that Verlinde's theory, while fascinating, is still speculative and requires more empirical evidence. However, it is also a reminder that science is a dynamic field, constantly evolving with each new discovery and theory. In the grand scheme of things, Verlinde's theory represents a bold step towards new ways of understanding the universe. It challenges our preconceived notions and pushes us to question, to explore, and to seek answers beyond the familiar. If Verlinde is correct, it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The implications of Verlinde's theory are far-reaching, challenging the very foundation of cosmology. This postulation, if validated, could upend our understanding of the universe's fundamental workings. Verlinde's theory aligns with something called Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MERND. This is an alternative to the standard model of cosmology, which posits that dark matter is responsible for the unusual rotation speeds of galaxies. MOND suggests that instead of dark matter, a modification of Newton's laws of motion could explain these phenomena. In a universe according to Verlinde, the focus shifts from searching for elusive dark matter particles to understanding the quantum interactions that give rise to what we perceive as gravity. This is a seismic shift in perspective. Rather than hunting for something that might not even exist, we'd be exploring the complex underpinnings of a fundamental force. Moreover, Verlinde's theory could shed light on the universe's expansion. If gravity is indeed an emergent phenomenon driven by dark energy, it might explain why the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. This is something the standard model of cosmology, even with dark matter, struggles to fully explain. Of course, these are just potential implications. The theory is still in its infancy and requires rigorous testing and scrutiny. There are many questions to answer and puzzles to solve. But the very fact that it challenges long-held beliefs is what makes it exciting. While Verlinde's theory is not yet universally accepted, it certainly offers a fresh perspective on the mysteries of the cosmos. Whether Verlinde's theory will stand the test of time remains to be seen. It's a fascinating hypothesis, one that challenges our understanding of the universe and the very nature of gravity. Yet it's also a theory that requires further examination and rigorous testing. The scientific community is actively engaged in this process, with a host of studies being conducted to validate or refute Verlinde's ideas. Some of these research efforts have already yielded intriguing results, providing tantalizing hints that support his theory.